Do you know that chimpanzees, also known as bonobos, engaged in a bloody war with their own kind for four years, involving significant bloodshed? This violent conflict began in January 1974 in Tanzania's Gombe National Park when a chimpanzee named Goodall was attacked by eight others while peacefully eating in a tree. According to British primatologist Richard Wrangham, featured in the BBC documentary, The Demonic Ape, 2004, Goodall attempted to escape by leaping from the tree but was captured. One chimpanzee grabbed him by the foot, another by the hand, and they proceeded to beat him on the ground. The assault lasted over five minutes, leaving Goodall barely able to move when they finally released him. Following this attack, Goodall was never seen again. Renowned British primatologist Jane Goodall stated that this savage incident marked the beginning of a four-year war among the chimpanzee community in Gombe National Park, causing a division, unleashing a wave of killing, looting, and violence that was unprecedented. Professor Joseph Feldblum of Duke University, specializing in evolutionary anthropology, described the event as a mystery due to the elusive nature of its origins and causes. Recent research, led by scientists, suggests a narrative of power, desire, and envy among chimpanzees that led to this bloody conflict. In a study published in the American Journal of Physical Anthropology last month, researchers observed changes in the relationships among the 19 chimpanzees in Gombe National Park seven years prior to the conflict. They found that two male chimpanzees formed a close bond and would come together more often than other pairs when seeking food. Professor Ann Pusey, a professor of evolutionary anthropology at Duke University, stated that their analysis indicated an unusual decrease in chimpanzee birth rates during the initial years, between 1967 and 1970, when both chimpanzee communities were experiencing an increase in population. It was observed that some chimpanzees began spending time in the northern part of the park, while others explored the southern region. This separation marked the beginning of the fragmentation of the chimpanzee brotherhood. By 1972, the male chimpanzees from both groups were engaging in copulation with the female chimpanzees. This group was referred to as Kasakela or Kahama. Observations revealed that whenever chimpanzees from both groups encountered each other, they would throw branches, vocalize, and display signs of power. Professor Ann Pusey, along with Professor Jane Goodall, was present at Duke University during this research. They reported hearing sounds from the south, as if proclaiming, southern males are coming. Following this, there was a commotion in the north with chimpanzees climbing trees and making loud noises to demonstrate strength. Researchers believe that the conflict arose from a power struggle between three male chimpanzees, the dominant Humphrey, and his southern rivals Charlie and Hugh. Professor Ann Pusey mentioned that Humphrey, being powerful, could intimidate Charlie and Hugh individually, but when they were together, he avoided confronting them. The researchers suggest that the abnormal decrease in the number of female chimpanzees during this time in Gombe National Park created increased opportunities for male chimpanzees from both groups to compete with each other. However, they acknowledge that comparing these results with other incidents is challenging due to the scarcity of such events in nature. Professor Jane Goodall expressed in her documentary, at that time, the situation in Gombe National Park was terrifying. She admitted that their research center contributed to the increase in violence among the chimpanzees. In her words, Professor Jane Goodall stated, In my mind, the alarming thing is to witness an act in which a large group eliminates another group and takes control of the area.